and I would call all the world's water traitor. For the way her body brought the traitors of fur, of flesh, of Black Hills gold, holding butterfly nets, wove of heartstrings so cold they were able to freeze, and then capture my nation's breezes. Kidnap the Blackfoot in that pee, whitewash, replace with a half scalped, war painted Jesus, a strangled, slit throat Caesar, so unable to say, a eh, tu brute, he simply mouthed the letters O and K. The today's stray bullets pull stars from the sky through bubble wrapped newborn darkness. I see that midnight is them and the noon is me. But now bright minds' lights have ruined the moon like the whites ruined wounded knee. They pruned our freedom, clip snip, quick flip. Bonsai treat them, and now we are needed like weeds in the Garden of Eden. But me, I ain't never seen a field of dandelions trying to grow into roses. God knows Columbus needed no Moses to split the sea of my red people. He knew enough to just trust in the strength of the steeple, the breadth and length of cathedrals, God's gospel glossed needles, force feeding canatas, pre bleeding crimson Indian summer evenings, leaving me dreaming that even as we speak our spoken words, these thieves are still weaving history through tree trunks. Searching for reasons to clear cut the psyche. I think we all know that if Mikey didn't like his bowl of life, they would have let him starve. And still we wonder at the marvels of our carven nation, segra, degra, congregation. And still the throngs they hasten to sing songs of race and reformation. What sung by the lungs of long dead masons? So if here's the place, and now's the time, you run your race while I fast and pray for mine, and hunger for the day when I can release the images of my people, proud and free from the collective walls of imagination. But right now, North America's just a fucked up fancy restaurant, and I'm looking forward to the day when I can't get a reservation. <laughs>